Hello, Paul from FitLink here. Today, I'm going to show you how to add an activity to the FitLink dashboard. Now, just a reminder, inside the FitLink app, there is a, a map and people can find nearby things to do. So they can find things like organized classes, events, runs, uh, walks, anything can be plotted on the map. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as an admin, if you're running your own FitLink campaign, you'd log in, you see your dashboard, all this lovely data about how active your group is being, and you're going to come down into act, into the activity section. Now here I haven't added any, I haven't added any yet. I'm about to do so now. So simple, add new. So what is this activity? So as an example, I'm just going to add, I'm going to add a run, a running route, a park run. Um, so um, activity name, um, run around the park. A long description, get out and run. And activity type, well, it's uh, it's going to be a route, it's a running route. And when does activity take place? Anytime. Uh, cost is zero cost, meeting point. Uh, so if I'm, I want to advertise this to my, my buddies or whoever, so I'm going to say this meet in the car park. Uh, so I can add some images here if I wanted to. Um, so let's add an image um, and then location. So this is going to be, where does it take place? It's, I, you know, I could just drag this marker around uh, and let's say it takes place on this field here or this park here. Um, now, if I, if this was an organized event, I, if it's a yoga class, um, I could actually enter in the organizer's details. So the name of the instructor, the venue, the, if they had a URL, telephone number, just a way of contacting the organizer. I can even add their image as well if I wanted to. But this is not, this is, this is not an organized class. It's just a running route around a park. So I just hit save activity. And the activity is live. Now this activity has now been pushed live into everybody's apps. So if they load up the app, they go into, into the map, uh, they'll see this activity run around the park at this location inside the app. So it's a great way for all users to find nearby things to do. Now I'm just gonna switch to the mobile app and show you how you do it inside the app as well. Bear with me. Okay, so on my screen now, we should have the mobile app. And so, yeah, everything here, I can see my daily steps. Not too good today, actually. I've only done a few thousand steps. Um, and if I navigate across to the bottom right there, discover, this will load up um, the map. Uh, and in here is my location. I can see there's some nearby things um, like Roman, uh, Roman camp, some hill work. Um, or I can go back, uh, zoom back out. And actually, I know that there's a there's a decent running route in a, in that park just there. Um, so I'm going to click, click the plus symbol top left. I can move the map around. I can zoom in and out. So in this park here, just about there, is an awesome running route. So you just press continue. Uh, so this is where I can just put in my uh, my the the route details, running route. You can be more creative with what you call this um, date frequency. So it's just um. Whenever, uh, amazing route around the for, forest. Uh, I can add a I can add a picture. I select from gallery, just a random picture there. It's of a beach, but there we go. I can add multiple pictures if I wanted to. Um, another another sunrise. Um, again, I can add organizer details here if I wanted to. Uh, so I can add, you know, who, who they are, name. There isn't an organizer. It's just me adding a, a running route that I, that I want. So I, I'll close that down and just click create activity. And there we go. The activity is live. It's there, that pin marker. I can tap into it. And there it is, the, the two images I added and what it is. So everybody inside my group can discover and find this running route now. So I added it there for them and they can come and join and run around with me if they wanted to. But it's a great way of sort of, um, of crowdsourcing activities, allowing everybody within your group to kind of add them to the map for them to discover. Okay, thanks ever so much. Remember, FitLink's free to download for individuals. Businesses sign up and pay, you get a 14 day free trial period.
Enjoy. A healthy future awaits.